All right, everyone. So uh, let's just take a look at uh, the SPY and the S and P and the you know the ES. All right, see what's going on there. So weekly uh, last week had four four hundred million. And right now, uh, how much do we have right now? About a hundred million this week so far. So four hundred million, and then uh, shares. So we know that the uh, 500 million, like what was it, three weeks ago, caused the pullback. Now we have about 400 million last week, and then I, it looks like a pullback. On the daily chart, I don't really see anything. Oh shit! Scratch that. Yeah, this. The last uh, buying, the minor, last bu minor buying climax had 110 million followed by 114 million on the change of behavior that initiated the, the rotation down, the pullback. Then there was a little climax here. This was on 623, the 92 million that initiated the buying. And that buying terminated up here on 105 million. So what are the climax numbers? 110 million buying climax. Then this 92 million. Then you had about 105 million. So last last two climaxes was 110 million and 105 million. So when it gets above that 100 mark, uh, uh, after multiple bars up, there's some you know issue. And you can see the volume right here: 105 million spy, 110 million. Right? See it. Anyway, so that. Um, now let's take a look. Uh, I can't really see it here. I don't know what's going on here. I can't see it. But here, you know, the uh, the climax here on 20 million. What is it? 20? Yeah, 20 million shares. Breakout on 19 million. Here I, I showed these arrows were there in advance. The 14 and the 15 million right up here. I said that's dangerous for the bulls because last time you had 12 million and, and that was enough. The A, the 6, and the 12 distribution enough to uh, cause this heavy pullback. So over here in the 14 and 15 is now making that pullback all the way down to test the breakout. On the market breadth, I indicated to everyone this is a selling wave. Right, and then the pullback was a lower high, with 915, and the pullback still. I I am still not convinced of a of a like a downtrend until I get a springboard. So there needs to be one more um, up move, right? One more up move, market breadth, and it needs to totally shrink. Because here, 915 is still quite a lot. I mean, there, there was demand on this up wave. There was demand, 915. Now, yeah, there's 1,078 that are reacting, but if, if the up wave is weak, then, then we know demand gave up and it's going to cause a downtrend. And one second. All right, I'm back. So... Basically over here, 14, 15, there's 14, what was it? 14 million and 15 million. And that led to, this was a minor climax, by the way, that's what it is. Minor climax and nothing more than supply coming in at the top. Minor, uh, uh, top, you know, of um, a rally or a pullback and uh, minor buying climax, nothing more than um, demand coming in on a rally or a pullback. So that's different than classic supply, you know, on the selling uh, and buying climaxes that end trends. They're minor climaxes that end swings. Anyway, so right here is the minor climax. This supply 14 and 15 million. Bang. Now, what the hell is this? You see that? That's a lot of demand. That possibly is a lot of demand coming in here, so maybe that's what's creating the bounce. Anyway, 
Let's see what's going on here. This is worrisome right here for the bulls. They should be worried because of that. And that lower low that's just established. If this makes a, a high, and that high has a very small number relative to 1,500, this whole thing, this whole ship is going to sink. Downtrend time, meaning it'll hit a springboard and it's going to puke. All right, now let's take a look at intraday action. So there was one, uh, just, oh shoot, is this another trade? Uh, it's too late to trade now. There was one uh, trade. So, uh, you know, over here I showed the turn that occurred on the top and that initiated the move down, right? So that went into this area and then got bought up. So let's take a look at how this occurred. Okay, how did this turn occur? Okay, I'm gonna go into how this turn occurred. Once again, if you look at the candle chart, it doesn't tell you anything, all right? The only, I mean, it does, there's something you have a lot of overlapping bars and you know that's basically means there's something going on it's consolidation it's really accumulation okay so you had all that um that overlapping bars and um the signals were telling you that there's bullish diversions and basically markets going higher but i mean i, I don't really care about the signals unless they make sense to me by taking a look at you know, all the other factors so over here though, this was accumulation. But how do you prove that it was accumulation? How do you read that it was accumulation? You cannot do it with candles, it's not possible. It's not, <clears throat> excuse me, ca candles, um, they are not good. You need an order flow tape reading technique. Candles and all of that, they, they're, they're you need waves, you know, you can use that, but it's not enough. I shouldn't say they're not good, but it's just not enough. You know, the wicks are telling, the red, green, red, green, red, green is telling, the, the overlapping bars is telling, you know, the shortening of the thrust is telling, you know, um, stuff like that. I mean, they're, they're minor clues, but I want to see if there's a hell of a lot of volume being bought. I want to see if demand comes in. I want to see price go to a low and a lot of money being spent to buy the asset and for that you need volume so where was it here so in the footprint chart or the tape reading chart according to Wyckoff it goes down 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 first evidence of buying here right there first evidence more evidence 30 thousand contracts followed by 29 20 or 29 I don't know 29 29 24,000 another 32,000 it's all buying and the way it looked on a candle it's red green red green red green but basically behind the scenes behind all these candles is buying activity 32,000 but this was um, this was the most obvious one right here 54,000 contracts in this here, this area right there, 54,000 contracts, and it goes up. So that was telling you that the accumulation is legit. If it kept giving high prints but it kept going down, that could be other things like absorption to go lower or breakdowns to go lower but finally you know you already know that you're hitting a level on the higher time frame Renko or any higher time frame chart you already know you're hitting a level so I'm looking for buying so this is evidence this 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 and then finally boom and now it goes up so now I'm looking for that rotation or that you know that turn here I have first evidence right there 49,000 53,000 and here 59,000. 59,000 is greater than 54,000. 59,000 is greater than 54,000. It does not go higher. Instead, it starts going sideways. So this possibly is selling or profit taking that is selling to stop the move from going higher. See how it's outlined in green? So I'm looking at the outlines in green, red, and white. 
because they represent things that, that are important to me. For example, the 44 here, right there, was a break above this high, which told me that the market is basically going up. And then here, if it's not breaking and it's holding, there's basically supply coming in, and there's a very likely possibility of it coming back down right here to 44.34, where it has a chance of bouncing. All right, so we'll see if this thing turns. Why? Because of 59,000 contracts, which was the biggest print that you see in this turn. I mean, it's the biggest print of the day. Look at that. The biggest print of the day at the low was the 54. Biggest print of the day at the high was the 59. So chances are that it'll at least rotate back down. You know, so we'll see. And uh, don't worry about the other signals. Like the signals don't mean anything un unless I can make sense of them. So just, there's no such thing as a mechanical signal. They all will fail. You have to uh, just use common sense first and foremost, and then apply the signals. And that's after a lot of experience with all these signals. So anyway, that's all I got for today. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.